Rossi has been making boots in Australia since 1910. Even today, the 150,000 pairs of boots it produces each year are largely handmade. Of the 85 employees, some have been here their entire working lives. 31 years I've worked here, very good team. We work together quite well, I know most of them, I know. But Rossi is a rarity. This is one of very few companies making shoes in Australia. Foreign competition makes manufacturing here tough. Two years ago, a major government contract to supply Australia's military went to a company manufacturing in Indonesia, which bid 15% less than Rossi. It's frustrating because there's no consideration for any sort of economic benefit to the local region or to the country uh, based on spending money inside the country. These cars, also in Adelaide, will be some of the last made in Australia. Next year, all the country's remaining car factories will close. It's in that context that concern for Australia's manufacturing sector is high on the political agenda. Nick Xenophon has his own political party, which secured four seats in Parliament in July's election as a common-sense alternative promoting Australian-made manufacturing. If being a protectionist is about protecting Australian jobs and the national interest in the context of fair trade deals, not free-for-all trade deals, then I'll happily wear that as a badge of honour. As no party in Australia's Senate has a majority, Xenophon and others like him have a lot of influence over government policy. Earlier this year, this steelworks on which the town of Wyala depends was in danger of going bust. Workers took big pay cuts, but it wasn't enough. Almost everything this town has is built on the back of the, the steelworks, so for it to go would be devastating, absolutely devastating. Political pressure has led the government to support the works financially to help attract a buyer. The Commonwealth Government has provided us with a $50 million loan. The South Australian Government have also committed $50 million to the business. That will be provided to a purchaser. And they've also provided assistance around the uh, environmental liabilities which uh, the Wireless Steelworks sits on. Australia's government believes in free trade and free markets. But faced with their consequences, there are signs its ideological position may be shifting. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera. Adelaide.